Section 9.2, Properties of Matrices. First, let's look at a matrix. A matrix is a rectangular arrangement composed of the following parts. We're going to have rows, columns, and elements. For example, I could have a matrix. Uh, let's see, 4, 12, Negative three, five. Here's my matrix. We always do use brackets around the matrix. Here, I have a row. I also have a column. And then each number, so each part of this matrix is an element. I have I have six elements in the above matrix. All right, those elements are two, negative one, four, twelve, negative three, and five. This matrix is composed of three rows and two columns. So its dimensions are a three by two matrix. And let's change the color. The dimensions of this matrix are 3 by 2. And that does lead us to this discussion of dimensions. And the dimensions of the matrix are determined by the number of rows and the number of columns. All right, here we have an example. What are the dimensions of the matrix below? Well, it's actually just like the one we had above. We have three rows and two columns, so this is a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, what about this one? The one you see on your screen right now is, let's see, we have one row and four columns, so this is a one by four matrix. Okay, what about this one? We have two rows and two columns, so this is a two by two matrix. Knowing the dimensions of your matrix are, is very important, especially when we get into adding, subtracting, and multiplying matrices. All right, well, that's the basics of a matrix. We have rows, we have columns, we have elements, and then we can give the dimensions of a matrix. Matrices are used for a number of reasons. Uh, one of the ways we can use a matrix is to represent points, or we can use it to represent a polygon. When we do this, we let the x-coordinates be the first row, the y-coordinates are the second row, and each point is a column. And let's look at an example. So we're going to come up with the matrix for this triangle. Here I have A, which is the point negative 6, negative 4. B is negative 5, negative 1, and C is negative 2, negative 4. To set up my matrix, I have three points, so I'm going to use three columns. I'll put A in the first column. We're going to just list its ordered pair of negative 6, negative 4. I'll put B in the next column, negative 5, negative 1, and then C, negative 2, negative 4. That's my matrix. So in this matrix, I let the x coordinates be the first row, the y coordinates is the second row, and each point is a column. Matrices are just another way to express information. Well, how about you try example two on your own? Pause the video if you need to, and then resume when you're ready to check your solution. In example two, A prime is negative three, negative three, B prime is negative two, zero, and C prime is one, negative three. So this matrix would be negative three, negative three, negative two, zero, and one, negative three. Again, this is where I let x be the first row, y is the second, each point is a column, and this is a two by three matrix, as was the one above. Two rows, three columns.